So, Paul and Rebecca, um, we've got this fantastic celebratory event at the House of Commons on Thursday where our schools and pupils are showcasing some of their work. So, Rebecca, part of the event really is about our application to be part of UNESCO uh, Schools Network, where all of the schools are, are part of this fabulous network. Can you tell us a bit about why it's an important thing to be part of? Um, yes, we're actually a UNESCO partner school already and we know that it's so important for our children to be involved in, with this global organisation and particularly the response that we have to peace and reconciliation because that underpins a lot of the work we do in our curriculum and of course it's so important to us as a city that our pupils have these opportunities to engage with peace on this global stage. Thanks. So Rebecca's laid out the opportunities, so Paul, what's, what's next? Well, hopefully we can get as many schools in commentary involved as possible. Uh, I mean, the thing for me is we're, we're looking at global events in the past, really personalising those in, in, in the city. Uh, and as Rebecca says, it's a city of peace and reconciliation. What better place for every school in the city to be involved in a massive global network of schools working to improve the future and involving our young people? Thank you. So we're all looking forward to Thursday's event. It's at the House of Commons. Our city's pupils are going to be showcasing their work. MP Taiwo Watemi is hosting the event. We've got various MPs coming. The chair of UNESCO UK will also be there and we're really looking forward to it because it's going to be a fabulous event.